There are two very different debates taking place in Cyprus to try and find a resolution to the crisis. One here at the presidential palace, where cabinet and political leaders are meeting with the Troika, working to stave off bankruptcy. And the other debate on the streets of Nicosia, where the people, flushed with delight after the overwhelming rejection of the hated EU bailout, made it clear they'd contribute to the bank deficit, but on their own terms. The way the Germans came here with their money, it's as if they're enslaving us. If the state asks us for money, we will give it. But we won't have our pockets picked. We'd rather go hungry than be slaves. People of my age who've worked all their lives have money. And we are a hard-working people, and even on our own, we always come out on top. At the presidential palace, several hours of discussion had produced some early results. Various plans are now being um, prepared and we are going to the central bank just to do that. What are the plans? <laughs> Various plans. What is the most likely plan? Can you give us an idea? No, I cannot tell. Is there going to be any problem, do you believe, with liquidity in the bank? No, I don't think so. The elusive plan B that will solve this financial crisis must be all things to all men. It must satisfy the European finance ministers. It must get the green light from the European Central Bank and the IMF. It must win the approval of Parliament. Otherwise, it will be voted out again. So what are the options for Cyprus? Parliament could vote on a revised deal exempting deposits below $130,000. Large expatriate depositors, mainly Russian, would then have to pay more. The government could demand a better deal from the EU on a bailout loan for the full $19 billion. Cyprus could do a deal with Russia to recapitalize the banks in return for access to Cyprus's natural gas reserves. Or it could default. That would mean a collapse of the banking sector and exit from the Eurozone with a return to the Cyprus pound. Parliament will debate the crisis on Thursday night. Both the Cyprus government and the EU are in solid agreement on one thing. A viable plan B to end the uncertainty must be found and soon. Peter Sharp, Al Jazeera in Nicosia.